Hi everyone, it's Lisa Muller with Medmark and welcome to Doc Talk Dental. We are especially privileged today to have Dr. Ace Gorg chatting with us. He is a board certified endodontist that has practiced over 40 years and has worked with 20% of all of the endodontists in the country with his courses and coaching program. He created Endo Mastery in 1996 to help endodontists work less, enjoy their practice more, while increasing their fun and profitability. Dr. Gorg is one of the most profitable endodontists in the world while working less than 125 days per year. Today, he will talk about the ACE process and the retire in practice model, showing how to enjoy and love your office where you never burn out. This has helped many endodontists double their net profit, eliminate drama and stress from their office while only working three days a week. Wow, that's an amazing concept. Welcome, Dr. Gore. Well, thank you. Can you teach me how to do this three day a week working thing? Uh, I would love that. Yes. <laughs> First, you have to go to endo school. Uh, oh, oh, okay. No, no. That ship is sailed. No, like, exactly. No, <laughs> it's, a, it's a fairly simple process. But uh, yeah, the uh, the whole part of this is when I uh, left the military in uh, 1991, I started a practice. And what was crazy about this is, uh, even though I was a full colonel and had a lot of administrative time in the military, I I brought in a practice local practice consultant and. Um, and I looked at different models that was out there, and I'm more of a one-appointment endodontic person, but these models were multi-appointment endo. Mm -hmm. The problem was is that I was working like five days a week, 12-hour days, killing my staff and myself, and uh, it just wasn't fun anymore with this model. So then I realized one day I walked in, on a, it came into the office on Sunday, I looked through the drawers, I saw all these bills that uh, weren't paid, all these checks that were not deposited, and apparently I was not paying attention to the business. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course I was nine months behind in payroll taxes and my life insurance had been canceled. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. So, so I had to look at that and see what the problem was and I finally brought in a uh, practice management consultant, Linda Miles, one of my favorite ladies, mm -hmm. and she uh, set up systems and a model. And once I did that I started focusing on one patient at a time and just started having fun again. And of course my entire staff probably left, except I had to bring new people on. But it was a, a very interesting experience. And I realized uh, when I was talking to this fellow in 1996 at one of the endodontic meetings about how to be more successful in practice. Mm -hmm. And uh, he says, you ought to put a course on. And I said, okay, I'll, I'm going to do that. So I sent out letters to all the endodontists, and I rented out the ballroom at the uh, Red Lion for 500 people and I was getting a little worried when we had about uh, two weeks left and I had three people signed up. Uh, <laughs> uh -oh. So I, I called every endodontist in a you know, five state area and eventually- Called in all your favors. Exactly. Yeah. So we had about 20 people on our first meeting. Uh -huh. That's how we sort of and started And how long it. ago was this? It was uh, 20 years ago. 20 years ago. Actually 21 years ago. Mm -hmm. yeah. So uh, it was great and, um, and that's, that's that's how we started, and uh, we started coaching people there. We four, had four coaching clients now. Now we do around 50 a year, so it's good. I love that you figured out in, within your own practice what needed to be fixed within the industry, yes. right? That you weren't having fun, that there was such high burnout, and you were experiencing all that yourself. So you, I'm sure you thought to yourself, hey, how can I help? Yes. Others with this, right? Well, and also it was amazing because when I when we went into practices, we saw all these things that we learned from. I mean, I mean, if I always say, if you uh, want to learn something, teach it. If you don't know it, so right. uh, and so I went into these different practices, and we just continued to grow and get better and better as we coached other people. And then my practice got better and better too, which right. was great. And I've had many coaches also. And I so who, who have been some of your mentors and coaches? Oh, uh, well, they're for general dentists. Uh, Greg Stanley was one of our mentors. Um, had um, um, uh, Bill Blatchford taught me some things. Also, Mike Abernathy. All these are general dentist coaches that mm -hmm. uh, have been out there. And um, but um, it's been a kind of a neat journey. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you are the master of endo. I mean, literally, that's your reputation in the market. Oh, I can good. attest to this because I have an endodontic magazine. Oh, so. <laughs> very good. I know Thank these you. things. I Thank know you. these things. Thank you. <laughs> now, all joking aside, you're, I mean, what you're doing is amazing in the industry and much needed. Um, tell us how you, tell us more about your ACE process. Let's, let's hear about that. Well, the ACE process is basically, it begins with a vision and intent to have the practice of your dreams. 
-hmm. And we start training your team, helping people understand, you know, how they relate with patients and things like that. And we create an office culture that is, provides like the wow experience, sort of like the Ritz Carlton of dentistry. I mean, this is where you have to differentiate yourself from anyone else out there. And when you're able to provide a process like that or a, the, the, that type of uh, connection, because when you have those relationships with your uh, patients and your referring doctors, it's sort of like you develop like an emotional connection. And right. patients just love that. Mm -hmm. And then you add that uh, to um, creating the flow in your office where you're very efficient, the patients get done quickly, and, and uh, they just have a wonderful experience. And then once you, once you have that going, then um, uh, in our process, the people we work with usually can increase their, uh, you know, do two or, more, two or three more cases a day. Mm -hmm. uh, the average in a dentist is like three to four cases a day. Wow. And uh, the, um, but you add two or three cases a day, you're increasing their net profit by maybe 500,000. Absolutely, and which then, is huge. Uh, the big thing with endodontists, and, and especially these new students coming out, they have so much debt. Yes. And uh, you, you had 500000 a year, you know, pay your taxes on it. Within three to five years, you're completely debt-free. Then you go to practice. Then you go to the office because you want to, not because you have to. Right. And that's really when the fun That's begins. so important, yes. right? It's yes. so important to yeah. free your mind of that debt um, so that you can get on with what you were really passionate to do. Right. I mean, right? But, you know, what's interesting is that once you make a plan to get this way and to do more cases and rearrange your practice, then you can live now as if you're debt free because you know you will be. Mm -hmm. And so you don't have to wait till you're debt free. You just have to have the, the, the system uh, and the process and, uh, you know, on track. So. And you call it retiring in practice. Well, uh, so uh, tell us about that. Well, it was interesting. interesting. I, I, you know, I was uh, working my five days a week, uh, 12 hour days, and then finally got a coach in. And then around the same time, I was talking to one of my older general dentists who referred a lot of patients to me. Mm -hmm. And he said, yeah, I only work three days a week. I said, how do you do that? He said, well, it was interesting because when I first started in the 50s, everyone went and worked five days a week. And my buddy from dental school, a year into it, he says, yeah, I'm only working four days. You can just change your schedule around. And he did. And he said he made more money in four days a week than he did in five. And mm -hmm. he says, I wasn't a big spender, so I paid off my debts. And uh, within six years, I had no debt, so I went down to three days a week, and I was taking two weeks off. Over the next few years, I started taking four or five, and I eventually took off 12 weeks a year, working three days a week. I've been in retired in practice for 40 years. Now, this guy was in his 70s. He retired at age 80. And wow. And in his 90, he skis the mountains with his great-grandchildren. Oh, my and goodness. And just incredible because, uh, you know, I'm, at, I'm 73 years old. And I go into the office and, you know, I complete maybe an average of 13 or 14 cases a day. Mm -hmm. Never stressed. Um, I, uh, and, uh, and at amazing. the end of the day, I'm not tired because it's all about systems. I've empowered my team to run the practice. Right. And they run the practice, and I just walk in and... Just love patients. That's all I need. Oh, to that's do. amazing! It's fun. If you have the right people and the right processes and the right people's processes, product, I think is what it is. Yes. Um, it seems like that's what you're about and what you're teaching others, other doctors to be about uh, with their practices. Yeah. So the that's amazing. The problem is, they just no one ever teaches the business aspect. No one teaches the flow. Right. It, it always amazes me. I ask uh, endodontists, you know, you. Uh, how long does it take you to do a normal root canal? And most, you know, endodontists have been out a few years, so it takes an hour. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying then, let's see, you're there nine hours a day, why are you doing three cases? Because it's not about your clinical technique. It is all about the flow on how you move patients in and out. That's all systems. Those are things we teach, it's the systems. Mm -hmm. And doesn't that really start with, like you said, an amazing team around you? Speak to how important that is. Well, yes. Well, it's interesting about systems. Systems are, you need systems so you can hire on personality and not on experience. I, I hire a lot of new people. I, the three people that I have up front have never been experienced. They were in their 20s, never had any experience in dentistry or anything like that. 
but with the right systems and uh, manuals and things like that, they're able to handle a multi-million dollar endodontic practice. I mean, and move nice. patients in and out because if you have the right models and um, we have a lot of videos and things like that that mm -hmm. we share with our, our, our doctors we work with, um, we get them up to pace very fast. Right. So what are, the, what are the specific systems that need to be evaluated in the endodontic practice? Well, first of all, you have to be able to train your team you know, on insurances, um, how we handle phone calls. It, the, the difference with other uh, you know, practice management, they understand general dentistry and hygiene and all those sort of things, but we, we schedule differently, we ask different questions, we have to understand does this, these cases really need treatment or they don't need treatment. Mm -hmm. and, and then that puts us where we schedule them properly and things like that. And so uh, once we have these systems in place, then um, uh, everything flows pretty, pretty easy. It's, um, it's, it's looking at that, it's looking at the practice monitors that we have to keep track of the, uh, the, f the numbers of the office. It's amazing how many endodontists do not even, they look and say, well, it's in the computer, but they not, or they're not tracking that. They're not tracking the referrals and uh, where they're coming from. Is, our, is, is what we're doing make a difference in, in uh, uh, the patients that are sent to us or, or how many patients that are sent to us? Right, and, right. Um, Placing monitors in the practice like that make a big difference. Yeah. yeah. So tell us about, um, so you have Endomastery, your two-day course. Yes. Give us the, the highlights of what, what our doctors uh, would learn at, at your course. Well, this is a, kind of a, a two, uh, it's really a day and a half. It's a comprehensive course that, uh, where they learn a step-by-step -step, um, approach to creating like the ease process, which basically here are the different systems. We talk about um, the first and most important thing as I talked about before was creating a vision. This is, you know, if you can create a vision and have an intent to get there, it's amazing how things go. And we talk about goal setting, those right, sort of right. things. Then we talk about the team and how we eliminate drama in practice and how to have started having more fun. So exactly, um, let's say someone drops all the gutta percha on the floor. What's the first thing we say? Great, you know? <laughs> as soon as we oops. screw up, we say, no, we never say oops. So we say, never oops. great, yeah. Or we just laugh, because none of it really matters, you know? And yeah. we just keep on uh, moving through the day. I mean, it's, it can just be, you know, a lot of fun. You know, and then we also look at the, um, the, uh, the other things in the office that really uh, kind of uh, make a difference, the flow and, and how our patients are moved in and out of chairs and those sort of things. We'll teach them that at the meeting. And then we look at business systems, uh, how to collect at the time of service, all those sort of things. And I also talk about uh, endodontic technique. I mean, I've been doing this for over 40 years. I have mm -hmm. uh, plenty of experiences in working with these offices and so much, so much I've learned so much um, by working with different doctors and we just keep bringing it back to our practice. And so there are a lot, a lot of tricks that we talk about in, in endodontic technique as well. Right. And then also, because we have teams there, what we like to do is teach, about, teach them how to have personal and financial freedom and understanding debt reduction. I think we talked about this. That's huge. Yeah, you know, I eliminated the, um, you know, the retirement plan in our practice just because when people left, they just, they, you know, they, they cashed out the retirement plan and they learned nothing. Mm -hmm. Now I give them a certain bonus each year to, um, for debt reduction and hopefully within you know, five to 10 years they own their house, their car and everything. And the only problem with that is that I've had a few people that finally got out of debt and quit. Uh, <laughs> it's uh -oh. just, but it's okay, yeah. uh, at least they're debt free. Yes. I can bring someone else you in. You taught them do. a little too well. Uh, exactly, I mean, that's exactly <laughs> what I wanted to do with them, so yeah. it was great. Yeah. So then so uh, the biggest gift is not getting out of debt. The biggest gift is to change them from uh, spenders to savers, so that's fun. That is such valuable coaching, and I know that's a part of your uh, Endo Mastery program. Yes, um, it is. To, to have the coaching process along with it that kind of brings everything full circle. Yes. And that's, that's an amazing component. You and I were speaking uh, off camera earlier about that. So tell us little, how important that is to you. Well, I'm really committed that um, you know, not only the doctors, but the team members get out of debt. I always see debt as the devil. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's uh, the fastest way actually to uh, 
be, you know, be financially free. Um, debt, um, as we talked about, by paying off debt is you can make almost 100% return on your money just by because what you pay for principal and 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 what what you also pay for uh, the interest on that is over 100%. You mm -hmm. know, you might pay, you know, $500 toward principal, $500 toward interest. That's just not a 4% loan. Right. And right. So anyway. Well, and we also talked about that just because you get out of debt doesn't mean you're automatically insta-happy, right? right? That's true. I mean, uh, it, you know, but you think, and that's one thing that people find out, because sometimes it only takes two to five years for a dentist and an adonis to get out of debt by adding two or three more cases a day to the practice. And, uh, and then we have people, and they say, well, I'm still not happy. And so that's when you have to start looking at other things in your background that, you know, hold you back from, right. you know, just enjoying life. Um, that's a whole other coaching program, It is. Right? That's another but coaching But still important program. to it the quality of our lives. Exactly. I think it's important we all take a look at that. I think so. Don't you? I do. Mm -hmm. So tell us what you do in your free time. It doesn't sound like you have much free time with as busy as you are. Well, you know, I always like to do things one-on-one. Um, -on -one. You know, I have, you know, five children, four daughters, and... A lot of and time. you've been married to your lovely wife for 48 years. 48 years. That yes. is amazing. Yes, thank Congratulations. you. Congratulations. No, yeah, we have to congratulate her for having <laughs> in there, is what I, what I say. But uh, uh, that's because I've always had the last word. And that is, of course, yes, dear. You're uh, always right. I'm sorry. Uh, I mean, exactly. It's, exactly. It's just oh, so wow. simple. She's trained you well. Exactly. <laughs> and when my wife has a problem and, and I can fix it immediately, I make no suggestions. I just smile and listen. It's nice. perfect. That's, exactly. That is perfect. And, love it. But, uh, you know, I love to ski. I, I love to uh, just take off and go on vacations. I do this with my wife. And sometimes I'll have one-on-one -on -one with my children. Like my, uh, one of my daughters, Catherine, we like flew to Papua New Guinea for two weeks, did a dive trip, you know, oh, and it was, it was fun. And my son will go fishing or I'll just bring the entire family to Hawaii. But I've got all this time. Yeah. I mean, really, I'm only working. I mean, look at I'm 73 years old, and it's still fun. And uh, I think uh, when you when you have set up a system where you know it is, you can go in, and it's all about just enjoying the patient and the relationship. I mean, as we all get older, we realize it's not the money anymore. Right. It's That's the relationships. True. So. That's true. And you've got how many grandchildren? Uh, I just had my 13th. 13? Uh, yes, this last oh, Monday, so it's great. That's really got to keep you young, right? It does. It's very Running exciting. around with them. I bet that's so much fun. Yes, and actually most of them live within probably three or four miles from my home. So. Oh, that's awesome. That's, that's awesome. Good. So the, the, uh, the tagline of your business is transform your practice, transform your life. Right. And I think that that's really what you're doing. I think you're... I think that's been your goal, and that is what you are you are actually doing because right. you're helping a lot of endodontists change their lives by by just rethinking their practice and how they're doing business. Well, the problem is a lot of endodontists have their head in the sand. Mm -hmm. Endodontics is changing. Right. I mean, there are more corporate offices out there. There are more insurances just taking majority of the money that. You're, you're trying to get, you know, from the patients and, and, and giving you uh, reduced uh, uh, compensation. More endodontists out there, there's more uh, and general dentists doing endodontics. When, if you can offer them certain things, if you can offer them the uh, incredible customer service, an emotional connection uh, with them and the referring doctors, if you can see their patients that day and, and provide efficient endodontic treatment and get them packed that day and complete the case that day. They're actually, what is amazing to me, they, a lot of general dentists stop doing endo because mm -hmm. it makes it so much easier. Right. I, a lot of the people that talk to me, they've got all these difficult cases. I don't. I have a, I, I mean, I do get my share, but mm -hmm. the majority are straightforward cases because the general dentist finds that these things take too long and they can make you know, much more become much more profitable just by doing, let's say, Crown and Bridge and things like that. Right, right. And it just, uh, and if we don't make change, if we don't, we can't make our office more, um, more efficient, uh, more fun, uh, more open to patients and really taking care of the patients, uh, then uh, uh, things may get worse. 
So. Wait, did you say endodontis and fun? Yes, it's fun. Can that, can that live together? Well, no, really, actually, it depends where you're sitting. Uh, at the chair <laughs> or, you know, on the outside. Right, right. Exactly. I mean, endodontics is, a t I mean, it's a very serious specialty, right? No, I mean, it, no, it's, it's not. Okay, oh, okay. my God. So it can be fun. It is fun. That's awesome. I mean, I, I can make any that. patient laugh in the chair, you know, once we strap them in. The, um, <laughs> no, it's just fairly, fairly simple. They're captive. Exactly. So you've got a course here in Scottsdale. I do. Which is, which you're kind of... Killing two birds with one stone here with our interview and your course. Yes. Um, lovely time to be in Scottsdale, I might add. Oh, it's beautiful. The end of January. Oh, my goodness. Weather I've gorgeous. Been, I just left rain and rain and rain. Yeah. You know, it's, uh, we can't yeah. shovel sunshine, so we're just, we're, we're happy all the time. It's, it's, it, it's good. So tell us about uh, the course that's happening tomorrow, right? Yes. Tomorrow? Well, like I said, it was a, it's a two and a half day mm -hmm. um, continuing education course. And uh, I, like I said, we just, we go through all our systems and we show them exactly how I, how I do it in my office. I don't hold anything back. Mm -hmm. And uh, in the old days, uh, when I first started this thing uh, over 20 years ago, we used to charge $1,000. I said, if we charge enough, then they'll actually might listen. You know? <laughs> and uh, we, we, had, we could fill up our courses and things like that. I'd make money at it. Then I realized, mm -hmm. what am I here for? And, um, so four years ago, I reinvented the entire endo mastery, and and brought more people in to help me through the process of you know, uh, coaching and things like that. And um, now we just basically our coach, our you know our course is uh, what we charge just covers our expenses, right. because um, my legacy, the way I see it, is that I want to be able to save private practice endodontics. If we can get these endodontists to understand the true systems mm -hmm. and just start loving your practice again. And um, now there's a point, the average endodontist does around, you know, 700,000 in collections a year. Mm -hmm. And they think they need an associate to have some time off. You know, the greatest uh, stress they have endodontists is when they go on vacation because they're wondering who's stealing their patient. <laughs> Well, really, it's sad. Yeah. Oh, that makes Isn't sense. that sad? You're yeah. on vacation and I can sad. only take a couple of weeks off. Yeah. So yeah. our goal is to get them to about 1.4 million, which does not take that long to do with a few more cases a day. Mm -hmm. Once they're there, then they can bring in an associate. Now they can be open five days a week. They cut down to three days a week. Their associate works three days a week. And uh, you can take all the vacation you want. The office is covered. You never worry about that. Your profitability jumps. Personal profitability jumps. It's just a... It, that's pretty much the ACE process. To I get love them it. There. Yes, good. That's a win-win. It is a win-win. Awesome. Thank you. So, this is so great. And I, I'm so thankful to have you writing and contributing to endodontic practice as well. Oh, great. To my magazine. We, we love that. And you're writing the intro for this next issue. And we so appreciate you and everything that you're doing for the industry. Well, thank you. And I so, love your magazine because, I you. mean, basically, we don't have an, a magazine that just gives common sense, you know, ideas. Uh, you know, for our endodontist out there. I mean, we have our research, our jo Journal of Endodontics, mm -hmm. but this does, it's, it's a different approach. Thank you. No, well, it. we're filling the niche that I intended to fill, because there's the, there's the association, Joe, the journal, and then there's the tabloid journals, and there was nothing that was in between that was user-friendly, hands-on. I can, I can read this article and go perform this technique in the next room and actually have it work. Right. Which is our biggest compliment that we receive from doctors. So Absolutely. It's pretty amazing. So good. thank you. Well, let's, let's keep up the good work and keep getting the word out there. All right. Perfect. Thank you so good. much for okay. joining us yeah. today. It's yeah. been a pleasure. Oh, thanks for having All me. All right. You'll come back? I and I will. Okay. Great. Awesome. Thank you. You bet. Take care. Okay. Bye. Thanks so much for joining us today on this special edition of Doc Talk Dental. I'd sincerely like to thank our special guest and sponsor of this episode today, Dr. Ace Gorig. For more information on him and his amazing company, please go to endomastery.com. As always, for more info on everything endo, please go to endopracticeus.com and subscribe to our publication. And check out our doctopdental.com site to view this and other engaging episodes. Thanks again for joining us. I look forward to seeing you again soon on the next Doc Talk Dental. Take care, everyone.